not one, yes two, coming again, at you with another video. I haven't done that intro in a long time, man. I decided that I'm gonna save that intro for sneaker reviews and stuff like that. So this is not gonna be a long video, man. It's gonna be very quick. I just wanna show you what I got and throw them on feet for you. I haven't been purchasing any sneakers, man. I can't, I gotta think, man. What was the last sneaker I purchased? I believe the last sneaker I purchased was the denim, denim ones. That was like, that was like about a month ago, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's, it's, it's in my uh, videos, check out my videos. But um, yeah, man, it's been really slow. I haven't been seeing nothing that I really want. The Air Jordan 1 denim was something I had to have. And these right here was something I had to have. I had just finished up at the gym. And um, in the same plaza as the gym was a Snipes, man. I love Snipes. I've been shopping at Snipes for, I say, a little over a year. I love the customer service there. I love the store setup. And um, they always have some, for the most part, some good-looking females in there. So anyways, we got them. Oh, before I talk about that, still talking about Snipes. I went into Snipes, and I saw this sneaker. It was in the women's section. And it stood out to me because it reminded me of a shoe that's going for like $1,500 and up. And um, I don't like the shoe. I like the shoe. I like the silhouette of the shoe and I like the color, but I don't like one thing they did with the shoe. And I'm gonna talk about it once we unbox these. So unfortunately, Snipes, the biggest size they had was a woman's 11, which is equal to a men's nine and a half or 10, I believe. I was looking for a woman's 12, which would be equal to a men's 10 and a half. I wear 10 and a half in Air Force. This is an Air Force one. This is a nice colorway. Online, it's pretty much sold out in all sizes. So let's open this thing up. It up and just pull here. Again, it's gonna be a fast review. I'm not gonna take up too much of your time. It's gonna rain tomorrow, Tuesday in my area, so I want to get this review done because I'm not sure it's gonna be nice enough for me to try these on on the, and on wear them in the grass and stuff. I actually just finished cutting the grass. So here you go, you see that 12 in there, man. Do y'all see it? See the 12, the color code. Laser orange, laser orange. All right. Typical Nike box for the Air Forces. What color you think it could be? It's kind of popping through. Woo-wee! Look at these bad boys right here. These are called laser orange now if you can't hmm, that smells good now if you can't think about what shoe that i that are similar to these i'm gonna go ahead and tell you these were similar to the off-white mcas the yellows the yellow mca off-whites now as i'm looking at the shoe i didn't notice this in store because sometimes the lighting is different in store but in person the midsole is a little darker than the outsole than like the upper part so I just noticed that, but I don't mind, it is what it is. The thing I didn't like about the MCA was the swoosh. I don't like silver, I'm a gold guy, man. I wear a lot of gold and silver just doesn't sit right with me. I do have a few Jordan ones that have like silver, like the Japan Co. And I believe there's something else. Oh, the silver toe women's Jordan ones, but I don't really wear those too much. I'm a gold guy, but these right here pop. This is something I plan on wearing with like what I'm wearing right now, all black. Not this t-shirt, it's like a workout t-shirt, but an all black t-shirt. I actually just bought a nice black t-shirt, man. I'll, at some point in the shorts, I'll show you the fit. But, you know, all black t-shirt, all black jeans, and these, man. These are just going to pop. So, right now, I'm wearing some Nike track pants, and I'll just try these on for you guys so you can see how they look, and then I'll be out. Uh, retail on these was, retail was 115 but I used a 10%. Actually, wifey used a 10% discount, so she saved like 10 bucks or somewhere around there after tax. And I deleted Nike. Let me just say that. I deleted the Nike app and I deleted the sneakers app. And I did this a little over a month ago and I'm not going to reinstall it. I don't care what Nike fixes. I don't care if they get rid of the bots or what they do. I'm just not interested. If I cannot purchase it at my local Snipes or my local Foot Locker, I don't need it. I'm not paying resale for anything anymore. That's just how I feel. I do have a lot of shoes that I haven't worn. I still dead stock, so maybe I do some trades. But as far as me coming out of pocket and paying resale to some idiot, no, not doing that. All right, so let's throw these on feet for you and then we'll be out. Before I try these on, let me say one thing. Both of these came lace. I untied this one, but both of these came lace like this. That's extremely weird. I don't know if that's something new Nike's doing, if they're doing just with the Air Forces, but I don't like that. I like them to do it right here because most of the time the laces are uneven and they're too tight. I'm going to have to loosen them up, but anyways. 
So here they are, guys. Well, hopefully, I could, uh, hopefully I could hear me, man. When I was uh, lacing them and putting them on, a bumblebee, a big ass bumblebee tried to come, tried to come near the shoes and I hit him with the sneaker. I guess he thought this was a flower. Hopefully I can see him, man. Now, typically, honestly, I would wear these with a baggier pant, a pant that covered most of the shoe, and I think they would look better, but for now, I just do on these pants just because that's what I just saw lying around. Give you a quick little walk by. Yeah, man, but I'm feeling these. These are hard, man. These are hard. Comment down below. Hit the like button. Let me know what y'all think. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace and love.